Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Monahan, and in this tutorial we will be going through how to use the Acolyte software to atmospherically correct Sentinel-2 data. I'm using a Windows, actually, uh, computer um, with Acolyte version Python 2019-326.0. If I could spell Windows correctly. Alright, there we go. Um, and you can access the materials that we're using at the link here. That page looks like this. Uh, Acolyte is a software developed by the Operational Directorate of the Natural Environment Scientific Websites and Applications of the Royal Belgian Institute for National Sciences. It's quite good. Uh, this uses the um, atmospheric correction using the dark spectrum fitting approach. Uh, there are citations here uh, for, for wh what approach they're using and why they're using it. And there's some great justification for why uh, that should be used for the type of work that um, that that you might want to do, um, especially with aquatic applications. So, the first thing I'm going to suggest you do uh, is is take a look at that and also read the manual. So, if I were to uh, click on this, it would take me to the manual page, and this is a really really helpful resource. And we'll refer to that together. Going back, what you'll want to do to start is download the zip file here for Windows, Linux, or Mac. Uh, on this machine, I'll be using uh, Windows. Uh, and so if I were to download this, what it would look like is Acolyte Pi Win 2019 326.0, the version. If I go in here, I see a folder called Acolyte Pi Win. And inside there, I see config data dist and a shortcut to acolyte.exe, the executable or, or program um, that's stored. Uh, so we need all of these files. Make sure to unpack uh, this into acolyte pi win. What I will do next is note here that I've had to change my drive, uh, which is called X. I'm working on an external drive. If you're working on an external drive, you'll want to change that file path in uh, command prompt on Windows. In terminal, uh, you can change to volumes and then change to the path there. Uh, but the folder I'm working in is inside of testing, Windows, Acolyte Pi. This is the distribution folder where I've unpacked it. If I use ls, I can see all the uh, vari various areas that's in here. Um, I can change directory into Acolyte Pi Win. Use ls again to list those files, and now I can see config data and disk. This is the folder I, I want to work in. Um, here inside here and so these two are matched I feel pretty good about that um, and now what we can do is we can learn how to open the Acolyte graphical user interface or GUI and what I can do here and now you can see in section 2.1 of the manual Acolyte GUI or we can't see now we can see um, is that we can open this and so it says clickable launchers are provided for Linux, Mac and Windows so let's try to take a look. If I double click on acolyte.exe, it'll open up a new um, session here, and I have this graphical interface. Now the benefit here is I can choose an input, and so in my case, I'm going to scroll down to my uh, remote drive, go to testing, and I want to choose as the input the safe file. Now if I go to this here, um, testing, it normally comes in as an L1C file, a zipped file. What we want to do is unzip that file into safe. You can use something like 7-zip to batch unzip, um, but we want to unzip that file. You want to select this folder. We also want to select the output location. Now I like to choose a folder called out in my directory of interest. So it's selected testing out as this. Now I can choose my parameters. If I have a region of interest, I can select a region. If I have L2W parameters, I can place them in here. And I can choose my outputs for my PNG. If I want to save these settings that I've put in here, I can click Save and save the Python settings to my out folder. Um, if I then were to run my processing, it would look something like this. It's processing this scene starting this aerosol correction with fixed path reflectance and it's writing out those bands to that out folder. Now by default in Python 
if you are um, running this interface, it will say not responding. That's because multi-threading isn't supported in uh, in this in Windows, but it is in Mac and Linux, so you can always switch to Mac and Linux if needed. Uh, I'm going to X out of this and uh, actually. Uh, Yes, I'm going to X out of that because we're going to actually try the other version. So that would have worked if I if I let it continue. Um, it would have continued. It started to write out this this NC file here. So I'll delete that. Um, and you can see that there's a log here that's generated and a settings file here that's that's also generated um, based on what we did. Now there is another way to use uh, Acolyte, and this is using the um, approach here. So if you want to use the command line interface um, from inside of this folder where we were here, we want to tell it dist. Now I can tab complete from here uh, because I uh, I know I want to be in in actually in dist. So let me do this dist right slash acolyte Oh, maybe I should. Oh, my slashes are the wrong way. Classic. Like that, and it says no settings file given. So now I know that Windows can see this exe file. I might want to, for completeness, add exe here. This is what I get for doing early morning coding. And I can pass it a settings file. Now the settings file is going to be right here in our Superstore or any remote drive. Um, and because we placed it here, we actually want to choose the settings from the run. So in my case, I'm going to choose something I was using earlier. I'm going to right click on it while holding down shift to copy as path in Windows. In Mac, you can hold down the uh, I think it's the option key while uh, right or while you have while you're in the right click context menu, um, and I'll paste that. Now, one thing to note: I don't want to have spaces in this path. Uh, I found that the um, program really doesn't like spaces. I also don't want these quotes. I just want the path itself. And so now, if I were to pass it this path, actually, let's pass it the just for. I'll actually pass it the exact one that we ran, so it will show you the that you can also run it this way. Copy as path. Like so. And it, you can see that it's running the exact same thing that we just ran. Now the benefit here, you can also pass a list of images. Now note, those images should be formatted um, in a very specific way. And let's see if I can pull up exactly how they should be formatted. So they should look something like this. Uh, so you, it notes that you can pass in images. And I like to organize it so I can save it as a text file, like images final. And what this ends up looking like is the paths themselves with no spaces, very short, the to the safe folders with no spaces and no line breaks. So this is just a raw text file with no spaces, no line breaks, just the path, a comma, the path, a comma, etc. And that's how you want to have this formatted. So that's what this means. This means the full path to the images with no spaces, no quotes, just that. And that's what they expect to see. And as you can see, it's still writing out the bands. If I go out into out, I'll be able to see these bands as they're starting to be written to this NC file. All right, I'm going to kill this as well. Um, but this is more or less how to use uh, Acolyte. If you have questions, feel free to sign up for an account on this Acolyte form. I found that to be very useful, even if just to read everything. Uh, well, thank you for listening, um, and I hope this was helpful to you. 
I uh, wish you all the best with your remote sensing, and, and I think this is a great tool. And I want to thank the um, the whole team uh, at Remsem. There is a really excellent tool, and I love using it. And I just thought I'd put something on YouTube, so in case you want to learn how to use it, it, it takes you through it a little bit more. Thank you.